Hello from the shores of the Guadalquivir River. My wanderings in Sevilla continue and it's time for this. A beautiful tower you can see there. It's called the Torre del Oro, the gold tower. Now it's not because it was laid in gold or had any golden decorations, though it has a yellow top. It's because of the construction materials that they use, the lime with pressed hay and something else. And um, depending on the how the sun is shining, the reflection of it on the water would cast a golden color. So that's how it got its name. It was built a very, very long time ago, if I remember correctly, when I read up on it in three stages. And the first one was at the beginning of the 1200s, I think, 1220 and 21. So a long, long time ago. And then I think 100 or 200 years later, they've added the middle part. And then in the 1700s, the last part so there you go it played an important role in the defense of the city um, I think I read that it used to be connected to I assume it was on the other side Toro de Plata the silver tower and together they acted as a barricade Obviously there was things in the river, so they could block any invaders and also, you know, do other bits like check on the commerce and all of that. But anyway, I don't want to particularly ramble on about it because if you're interested you can always read up. But I'm gonna go in there and hopefully I'm gonna get to climb almost to the top. I think we are allowed, I can see people there between the turrets, so let's go! Okay, I'm in. The visit of King Alfonso XIII. Commemorative plate. And let's start going up. There's also a maritime museum here, or a mini one. but. There we go, on the windy steps. Look at all the beautiful mosaics. Bit of a trip here, Jim. Okay. It's a model of the Santa Maria ship. Of course, it talks about the discoveries, miracles. That was one cool ship. <laughs> and I can hear the pirates of the Caribbean music in the background. Okay. Various multiple instruments. <laughs> So 
still trying to share this beautiful model. It is very large. And I can barely fit it in, plus the glass reflects, so that doesn't help. It's gorgeous. Now I found something else that's cool. A two-decker ship. And you can see it. If we can. Oh, how can I do this? That's the outside. And now, let's see the inside. There you go. It's pretty cool. Yet again, the glass is giving me trouble. But you can see how the cannons are positioned. Barrels of gunpowder and all other bits and bobs. <laughs> cool. Another one called the Hiralda. Much later, end of the 19th century. And a very, very modern one. Battle ship. to do the reflection cool and after I don't know how many steps and there's a breeze because it was so hot inside now what can I see a palm tree Okay, I'm gonna find the best spots to look out and show them to you. Okay, we have a view onto the river. The old look looking onto the modern. And from the other side. I can see a cool ship up there. Huh. I wonder if it does tourist rides or something. Anyway. Oops. Yet again, it's something I recommend visiting if you're in Sevilla. It's worth it. And it's only 3 euros for the entrance. So. Alright. Bye everyone.